Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I'm getting really bad hot burn and it's just not a vibe. How long has Forrester been sleeping? <gasps> Nearly two hours. Look, I'm fucking winning, okay? So I thought today I would sit down and finally film, finally film my labor vlog. My... <laughs> This is not a vlog, I assure you. I thought I would sit down and film my labor video while I had the chance. Foresto is probably gonna make an appearance because it's about time for him to wake. I'm getting really bad heartburn. Okay, so I've asked you guys to ask me some questions. This is gonna be a really laid back labor video. I don't even know if I can remember half the questions, but I will try my best. Let's start with number one. This is from my girlfriend, Tori. Did you poo? I think Lockie said that a little bit of poo came out, but I'm not sure. I wasn't aware if I shat, but I mean, you really don't care. You don't care if you do a big shit, a little shit. I'm just calling Lockie. We need to ask him, did I do a shit? I need you, I need you, I need to know the answer. I need you, I need you, I need to know. Well, that's fucking rude. Yeah, I think he said that I did a little bit. So, <laughs> but it's really no big deal. No one cares if you poo or not. Next question. Was it as bad as you expected? Absolutely not. I actually really loved my labor. I just, yeah. I loved all of it. I loved the whole experience. I loved being treated the way I was. Like they just take it very seriously, obviously, because it's a serious thing having a baby, but they take really good care of you. They're all really nurturing, like all the nurses. You get your own room, your partner's like, oh my God, I love you so much. I just loved the experience and I just can't wait to do it again really was not as bad as I expected no not even not even the contractions I felt before having an epidural and that will be a question I am going to be asked did you have drugs yes not even the contractions I felt before getting the epidural were as bad as I expected like I don't know I can't really talk because I didn't have a natural birth I did have a natural birth, but I didn't do it naturally. I had drugs, I had painkillers, so my experience is going to be a whole lot different to someone who did it naturally without the painkillers. But yeah, that answers that question. How did you cope with not knowing what you're in for? I am due in January and I'm petrified. Honestly, do not spend your time worrying about it. Like, just do it when you've got to do it and just get it done. Like, don't dwell on something that's not even happened yet because you you don't know what you're in for and everyone's pain tolerance is so different everyone's experience is so different i just think what's the point in fearing something that could go really amazing just don't manifest anything negative try to be as positive as possible and i'm sure you will have an amazing birth like I wasn't petrified at all, like more nervous, not petrified. I wasn't negative. I didn't think negatively towards my birth or labor. I tried to stay positive about it the whole way through my pregnancy and I feel like that really helped. Did you get any tears or stitches? Yes, I actually got her out. I don't know what it's called. The apesimod... Look, I don't know what it's called. Apesim... Otomy, a piece of otomy, wow. Wait, I think Forrest is awake, hang on one sec. Oh, he's still asleep, what the fuck? So they did cut me because Forrest was a big baby. He was nearly nine pound, he was 8.9, which is like four something kilos. So he was huge, okay? And I'm not, I'm not a big person. So yeah, they did have to cut me. Plus, I really struggled to push. Like, it was really, really hard. Even though I didn't feel what was going on down there, I felt like it was even harder for me to push because I couldn't I couldn't feel what was going on down there. So I could only feel, like, my stomach muscles. And, like, I had to push with my stomach muscles. And it was, like, a really intense workout. Like, the hardest workout I've ever done in my life. 
yeah, that was pretty crazy. And he just was not coming out. So yeah, they had to cut me to make a little bit more room. <laughs> and yeah, that all happened. And obviously, yes, I did get stitches. Okay, this is a good question because I would want to know this too. Is the first wee after giving birth that bad? I think that's my biggest fear. Me too. Like, I was so, so scared to go to the toilet and I held on to it for so long. And then the nurse just told me to, like, lean forward because the cut is actually nowhere near your clitoris, which is where you piss from. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's nowhere near it. So if you just avoid the pee going on to the, the cut and the stitches, you can't feel anything. I didn't feel anything at all. It wasn't painful at all. And I don't think anyone should be scared of peeing like I was because, yeah, it's really not that bad. I didn't feel anything. No stings, no nothing. But in saying that, I was on painkillers. So maybe that had something to do with it. But in my experience, no, it didn't hurt going to the toilet for the first time. Or oh, even number two didn't hurt. I was so scared, like you feel like you're going to open the scar or just fall out. It's just, it's weird. It doesn't hurt. So don't fear the peeing or the pooing. How long were you in labor for? I think like 24, 24 hours, which is like such a long time but it's normal for your first child for it to be a little longer so I've heard tell us the stuff that happens that no one else does I actually have Lockie actually took a photo of my placenta it is so disgusting I don't even like it's just weird to me that the human body can make something so ugly and disgusting like it's just hideous <laughs> It's really scary. I can't believe he even took a photo of it. I was like, what are you doing? It's really gross. If you guys want to see the photo, let me know. And I'll be happy to show you. Y'all know I don't keep anything from you guys. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty gross. So the placenta comes out after you birth the baby. What else? Like, do I need to tell you that you guys don't see? To be honest, everyone's like, from the birth videos that I've seen, it's all out there. You can literally go onto the internet and see a baby coming out of the vagina. Yeah, my birth wasn't really too dramatic. It wasn't, it was, I was really relaxed and I really enjoyed the whole experience. You probably don't see all the naked pregnant women getting into the shower because I did get into the shower and put the warm water on when I first had my first lot of contractions when I hadn't had any painkillers and the warm water really helps with that. You just don't really give a fuck what you look like in birth. Like I fully, in labor sorry, I fully took my makeup thinking oh yeah you know like I'm gonna put makeup on because I want a really cute family photo and I want to look nice girl there was no fucking way I was putting makeup on like you just not in that mindset at all to put makeup on or care what you look like out of 10 how bad was the pain during and after to be honest it wasn't bad at all. Contract, this is what I was most afraid of. I was most afraid of not knowing if I was getting a contraction or not because towards the end of your pregnancy, you get like niggling pains and stuff like that. But it honestly just feels like period pain. It's really so fine. Like I've had poo pain that's worse than the contractions. So I don't know if it's just me and I don't want to speak for everyone but yeah in my opinion and experience I did not find the pain that bad at all until like later on into the labor that's when it started to get more intense like the contractions get way more intense but it's not like it hits you out of nowhere like you've got so much warning and you know that it's coming oh and then the pain after the pain after is I mean, it's not the most unbearable pain I've ever had, like, and I had painkillers after, so 
I feel I feel like that really helped. But I was just in like the newborn bubble and you're so obsessed with your baby and you're just like feeling so many happy things and positive feelings that it kind of surpasses the pain feeling, if that makes sense. Did you feel so much more connected to Lockie after you gave birth? Did I feel more connected? Yes. Yeah, actually. I feel like we are so much closer. And yeah, we're just like a team now. And he was so cute during like... Oh my god, I'm going to cry. I don't know why. He was like really cute during labor. And he was like really supportive and was by my side the whole time and he would like rub my back and he was just, yeah, he was really cute. And yeah, it's just such a, if you've got a good man, it's such a good experience to see them like that because yeah, that's really rare for him to be like that. It's almost like they take on the nurturing role and they're the nurturers. Like it's like hard to explain, but yes, we are definitely more connected and closer and yeah, our relationship is stronger and we're just, like I said, a team now. Do I miss being pregnant? Yeah, no, I don't miss being pregnant. Like, I like, yeah, I, when I was pregnant, I missed not being pregnant, but I don't miss being pregnant. I don't even remember what it feels like to be pregnant, to be honest. So yeah, no, can't say I miss it yet. It was just six months ago. But, yeah, it does take a huge toll on your body. Like, it is a lot to go through. Like, it wasn't the worst experience being pregnant. I had a really, really easy pregnancy. And I'm, like, really grateful for that. If my second pregnancy goes like my first, I will be so stoked. The no exercise. Because I was really unhealthy during my pregnancy. And I kind of regret that. Like, I wish that I was more active. And I wish that I ate better foods and stuff like that. So... Second time around, I'm definitely going to do it a whole lot different. Hey guys, we're back. Sorry, I had to charge my phone. Forrest, are you going to say hi? Are you going to say hello? <laughs> he loves his toy. So does Crunchy, apparently, because she chewed it all. Which is so annoying. Anyway, back to this question. Where did I put my phone? In my pocket. <laughs> goodness here we go yeah 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 i might have to put him down but we'll see how we go okay this question i pretty much like already answered did you have an epidural yes i had an epidural so initially i was like you know what i really want to try and do it without the epidural i think that i could do it without the epidural so i was just like whatever and I was doing really well and then the nurse came in. <laughs> the nurse came in and I'm like, how many centimeters dilated am I? And she's like, six centimeters. And then she came back another four hours later and I'm like, how many centimeters dilated am I? And she's like, still six. And I was like, okay, fuck this. Order me the epidural. I know I'm going to get tired and I'm just going to... I'm going to really want it and it's not going to be there for me. And that's what I had a fear of, that it wouldn't be ready in time and I would be like in excruciating pain. So I got onto it quite early and by the time it was ready to be given to me, I was like shaking and screaming. But I actually don't remember the pain and you you forget about the pain straight away because I, I would always ask people like, what's the pain like? Is it bad? And they say, I don't remember. And it's true. You really don't remember. And I mean, looking back, it's so crazy how your brain and your body just automatically forget the pain. It's so weird. Anyway, Forrest, I just lost all the questions. So yeah, I had an epidural and the gas, and I also had morphine. Wouldn't recommend morphine. It didn't do anything apart from <laughs> apart from make me trip out. And yeah, it just didn't really help the pain. So I wouldn't recommend that. How long did you push for? It was actually not that long. He actually came out quite quickly, which is good. <laughs> But it was like really hard for me to push. I found that really challenging. 
to push? You were really big and it was hard for mommy to push you out. Look at babies, they're just so like intrigued by everything. What, you're getting fidgety on you, you don't want to sit here. Okay, you can play, you can play. Yeah, so I didn't really push for too long. I'd say it would be, it would have been like half an hour or an hour. Are you happy you had a natural birth and not a C-section? I am so happy that I got to have a natural birth. I didn't, I really didn't want a C-section. And yeah, I just, I was like really adamant that I wanted to have a natural birth. And I'm so, so thankful that I did get to experience a natural birth. They did, however, come in on three different occasions saying, Sky, you're going to need to get a C-section. One of the times they came in, this was the last time, and they were like, look, he's facing back. Like, he was facing the wrong way or something, and they were like, I think we're going to have to give you a C-section. And I just, like, sat there and didn't say anything and just, like, started crying. And I think that they were like, okay, we'll, we'll give it a little bit more time just because they could see how upset I was and I really didn't want a C-section. So they gave it a little bit more time and they turned me around on like different positions and stuff and he came good. So I'm like just so thankful that everything came good and I got to experience a natural birth. I'm really hoping that I will get to experience it again. Did everything go to plan or was there anything that didn't go to plan? He was quite stressed by the time by the time I was ready to push him out. His heart rate was dropping and it was like really quite stressful like the end of it towards like getting towards the end where I needed to push. It was like really stressful and there was like so many nurses gathering around my hoo-ha and like there was this doctor and she was like screaming at me she's like you have to push 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 harder and I'm like I'm literally pushing so hard I'm pushing as hard as I can stop screaming at me like it's not like screaming but she was really like sky come on you gotta do this and they were like push push and then she was getting frustrated and then I was like I can't do this like this is really tiring and stressful anyway it all came good and he's here and he was fine but yeah like a couple of times they came in and they were like his heart rate's dropping we're gonna need to do a c-section or oh my god he's nearly crawling I'm so proud of him yeah so there are a couple little things but overall I'm like really happy with how my labor went and I'm just like really grateful and thankful I didn't have a plan to be honest so nothing went to plan because I didn't have one and I'm glad that I didn't have one because I just didn't want to put that stress on myself of having a plan how did breastfeeding go straight after birth straight after yeah they just like they actually show you how to do it and they just prop them on the boob and they pretty much just start sucking straight away. It was a couple of days after that I really struggled with the breastfeeding. My nipples were like really tender, really painful. They were bleeding. Everyone was telling me I was going to get mastitis. It was just like really stressful but I just persevered and I'm still breastfeeding so I'm happy that I like just kept going with it because it would have been easy for me to stop but yeah I'm just glad that I kept going with it what hospital did you have him at I had him at the Gold Coast University and honestly they are so amazing there I'm yeah I was like really blown away with how good they are at the public hospital like you hear mixed reviews to be honest <laughs> you can do it Go Forest! Yay! You got it! Oh my god, he is on the move, you guys. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, they are seriously amazing there. Just, I just loved my labor, you guys. I really liked it. I don't know, it's just the best. I fucking loved it. It, did you have an epidural? If so, did it hurt? The epidural, I literally didn't even feel it. I did not even feel it. I was like so ready for it. 
The contractions hurt way more than the needle. Like the needle, I did not feel at all. It's just like this cold liquid. You feel cold liquid. You can feel it going in and numbing. It's fucking great. Bloody love it. How the fuck did you stay laughing? I wanted to die. Did you have an epi? Yes. So that's the reason why my birth would have looked calm and I was all good and have my shit together was because I did have the painkillers. And I mean, you know what? I was just like thinking I really wanted to try do it without the drugs. But I was thinking, you know what? Fuck it. It's not like anyone gives you a medal at the end of the day. No one even gives women what they deserve when they have a natural birth anyway. Like, I feel like if a woman can have a natural birth, she can literally do anything. And when I say natural, I mean no drugs. Like, that shit is... That's like superwoman shit right there, okay? So if there's any ladies out there who had no drugs, holy fucking shit. I kiss the ground, you walk on, you are amazing, you are superwoman, you are just... You are God, honestly. I am so proud of you because that shit is hectic. Did your water break? Oh, good question. My water didn't break. They had to break my waters for me and it is so weird. It's actually like a lot of water. Obviously, I didn't know what to expect and I actually thought that a couple of times my water did break because there's like leaking and all weird shit going on down there. But when your waters break, it actually is like a gush, a massive gush of water. And it just went all over the bed. Oh no, they put like a sheet down, that's right. But they have to move you because I was like fully paralyzed from like my hips down. And they put like a sheet down and broke my waters for me and it was... Yeah, just the weirdest feeling ever. But it is a lot of water. What were you most nervous about? To be honest, I was most nervous about meeting Forrest. Like, yeah, I wasn't really scared of labor itself. And I wasn't really... Yeah, I was just like more nervous to actually finally meet him. Which sounds crazy. I was like nervous and excited. Did you find that everything in your hospital bag was needed? Absolutely fucking not. You could literally get away with just packing, like, a couple of PJs. I really found that my dressing gown helped. Like, I'm glad that I took that. You don't really need food. I just was not keen to eat at all. I wasn't hungry. You just... I... Yeah, I didn't feel like food. I didn't feel like applying my makeup. You don't... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe take, like, some face wash and a couple of changes of changes of clothes I'd say like all you really need is comfortable clothes and like yeah they usually supply most things at the hospital anyway so I definitely overpacked which is standard for me hardest part about giving birth to be honest I actually struggled a lot with the pushing part like even though I couldn't feel it it was just like really hectic and yeah it was just really traumatic it was just, I can't even describe it. It was just like the hardest thing to do was to push, especially because I couldn't feel like, I couldn't feel what was going on. So I, I was pushing my hardest with everything that I could feel. So it was like really, really exhausting on my body. And I just found it really hard. And there was people screaming at me, you've got to push harder and harder. And I just couldn't push any more than what I was. So that was the hardest part. Did you know straight away Little Foresto was a forest? Yeah, so we picked the name pretty much from day one and we kept the name and yeah that was his name like he wasn't a case of oh he doesn't look like a forest like that was his name he looked like a forest and yeah I just fucking love his name I'm so happy with his name did you have any issues pushing out the placenta they actually give you a needle to help bring the placenta on and I did have that so that helped and it yeah, it just came out straight away. You don't feel anything, obviously, because I have the epidural. But I'm sure you wouldn't even feel it after pushing a baby out. So, and it's like squishy, I'm pretty sure. I've answered most of your questions. If there are any unanswered questions, please comment below in the description. And I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Hope this answered most of your questions and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.